Hello folks and welcome to another Sleepy Dog video. Today's video shows you how the contractor installs an 8 foot by 4 foot reinforced concrete box storm sewer. The track hole has what is called a quick connect which enables the contractor to remove and reconnect the bucket as needed. The operator thinks there might be an underground utility in the flow line of the box. He will dig slow and easy to make sure he does not break anything. Breaking a gas line or a water main would end the day and no more production. Now he will begin the real excavation. He will continue to dig carefully. Notice how he only removes about 10 inches of dirt at a time. This allows him to possibly locate an unknown underground utility. Some underground utilities are shown on the prints, but many are not. As you can see, the operator just broke a 4-inch PVC conduit with two communication lines inside. Luckily for him, it had been abandoned. The deeper the operator digs, the more confident he becomes that there is not any underground utilities. Notice how he doesn't excavate the full width of the trench. This is for the trench safety. OSHA requires the trench to be stepped or a trench box used when deeper than five foot. At this point, the operator is sure that there are no underground utilities, so he increases the digging. The trench is close to grade, so the worker will check it. What you can't see is a laser beam that shows up on the red square that the worker is holding. He tells the operator to remove a few more inches. Now that the trench is to grade, they will place six inches of cement stabilized sand on the bottom of the trench. The sand is a one and a half sack mix, meaning it will achieve 200 pounds per square inch in seven days. The sand is also placed on the sides of the boxes. The operator spreads the cement stabilized sand. The worker is confirming that the grade is correct. He checks a few locations. The operator then compacts the cement stabilized sand using the bucket. The operator removes the bucket and attaches the four steel cables that will pick up the 8x4 storm sewer box. The box comes from the manufacturer with four holes in the top of the storm sewer box for the cables. This is how the operator will carry the box.
See how the cables hold the box level? This 8x4 concrete box weighs approximately 22,500 pounds. The black material on the front of the storm sewer is called ramnet. It is used to seal the joint. The storm sewer box will fit into the junction box. The junction box has a top that will be installed later. The workers are careful to align the box up correctly. If the box is off by even an inch, it will cause the box not to line up in the correct location further downstream. The operator releases the cables and pushes the box into the exact location. Once the box is placed correctly, the workers remove the pins holding the cables. The workers will place the pins back on the cables and it's time to do it again. Here's a look at the boxes that were installed earlier. Notice they filled the holes where the cables go. The operator had to extend the arm or the boom all the way out to get under the electrical lines. This box was so heavy the operator had to keep the box low to the ground. Once he clears the lines, he's able to handle the weight with no problem. He lowers the box into the trench. Once the box is in the correct location, the workers remove the cables in the back. The operator then slides the box in place by using the front cables. And that is how the boxes are installed. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching and please remember to subscribe so you'll see the latest videos. Thank you.